Hello everybody on YouTube. This is Brandon Parker with another tutorial. This tutorial is going to be this time in FL Studio music creating program. This program is a really good program. It's really popular on Windows and I have a virtual version of Windows for those who don't really know what I have on my computer and why it looks different than theirs because right now I'm on my showing my Mac desktop and and in the virtual version of Windows that I have, I had a VMware Fusion, but that wasn't really working. So now I have Parallels 5 as my virtual version of Windows to run a small part just for like a couple of programs that I like, which is FL Studio and Sony Vegas. So uh, here's my tutorial in FL Studio. Okay. Right now I have loaded is a song that I've been working on. And I'm going to show you how I did this song. So I'm going to show you the hardest part of FL Studio, which is the piano row. The piano row is like, well, before I go into the piano row, I'm going to show you how to, let's go to file. I'm going to go to file. File, yeah, I'm going to go to file, and I'm going to go to new. Okay. And when you open up a new project, you'll get like the basic uh, kick, clap, and hat, and snare. Mostly, if you're like trying to do a techno song, you would do like like the kick first, and 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 in each pattern, you, you in each uh, part that you're working on, there there's patterns like there's pattern one, two, three, and so on. I like to rename them so I can make it a lot easier and. I call this like the kick pattern. And then I like to like have it done for you and feel it like in each four step. And this is how it would sound. And then I would uh, go right in here. I'd probably get like a different one. A lot of these that I have, they don't come with FL Studio. You have to search online for some of these, like the fact sounds I got these online like here's a pretty good sound I like is Fick club number one and I replace that kick and I do this one feel it feel each fourth step See, that sounds pretty good to get you started on your kick and then I recolor this to make it a lot easier to remember what it is color that whatever color you want And then I rename this pattern number two. I do it like the drum, because that would be next drum beat. And I change the color of that as well. And okay, I go into like you say you have plugins that you've downloaded or you want to see the basic ones that come with it before you you like add new channels to get like different sounds a lot of these I like I said I downloaded them online searching like not all of these are free that I have but uh, some of them that I have they're like free like Nexus is a really good plugin but that's not free you have to pay for it here somewhere okay and it comes with a lot of sounds if you have Nexus. It's a pretty good uh, plugin that uh, lets you create have, create techno songs or trance songs. And here's a sound that I like to use a lot. In the sound, I like to use, let's see, well, for drums, because drum beats I'd go, drum loops I'd do. Let's see this one. And then I go right into the piano row with this. And I leave it right in here. All the way to there. And then I play it to see what it sounds like. And that's for like the drum beat. And with this plugin, you don't really have to do much in the piano roll. You just uh, 
drag it across the line there and it'll do what you're looking for like in others you hear like if you have the snare you might have to go into the piano roll with the snare and go like and play around with it and change the size to get the sound that you're looking for it's kind of difficult to understand how to use the piano roll pretty much how it works is whatever sound you're working with you just create your own patterns inside of it right in here here's the kick and here's the drum sound and right in here you go and switch to like you're in pattern mode to listen to what you have done right in here you go back into right in here you go to the song and then these are the different settings like this is to fill your mixer master uh, setting right in here a lot of times it'll be on fruity limiter so you just down in here you go to select and you go to none because it might make your song sound a little funny when working with your uh, song and stuff and right in here these are like the different plugins to like want to have a bass boost on your on your music to make it sound a little better you want a compressor sound or whatever you just mess around with these the basic ones are like uh, fruity the fruity ones the other ones I've downloaded are like or if you have like Sony Vegas the editing video editing program it, it'll open up uh, the plugins right in there the sounds so if you're familiar with Sony Vegas it'll come with the different sounds with that and that's uh, how that works and in my next tutorial in FL Studio I'll try to explain more this is just to show you how it kinda works a little bit and the layout and and right in here the different sounds it's pretty much it in this tutorial so comment rate subscribe and if you have any requests or any questions about FL Studio bring them on to me because pretty much why I did this tutorial is to try to show you how it works and looks a little bit like the way it looks like this green uh, layout right or this green skin that I have in FL Studio it's a custom uh, skin that I made for FL Studio 8 I have FL Studio 9 but if you're wondering because you see FL Studio 8 right here it's because I made this in Photoshop so if you need uh, want any of these uh, custom skins or whatever for FL Studio let me know and I'll send you a link to some of them I'll put them in the description, but if you want like different ones or others, then I give you in the description. You just ask me, and I could probably make you one or whatever if you want one done for you. That's pretty much in this pretty much it in this tutorial. So I, I hope you uh, enjoy, and I hope this helped you out a little bit, just to get an overview, pretty much, and just to understand how FL Studio works, because it's a little little hard to understand, but. Like I said, if you have any questions, bring them on to me, and I will try my best to help you out there. If you need a lot more help in the piano roll, I'll do a separate tutorial for that. But like I said, this tutorial is just an overview, show you how it looks a little bit, and how you would use, uh, like, right in here, the, I go back into when that I opened. And here's a, a preview of my so new song that I'm making. I'll go right in here. preview right there I don't want to show you the whole song because it'll take up longer than 10 minutes on the video and that's pretty much it in this tutorial I hope you enjoy comment rate subscribe and I hope this tutorial helps you out if you need more help just send the questions along to me for FL studio because I know it's kind of difficult to use and so that's pretty much it